After sitting empty for years, a new Move Fitness will be moving into the old Albertsons building. It closed in 2017. Since then, neighbors have been concerned about the next business to move in and a graffiti problem near the site. The new fitness center is going to be on 37th Avenue on the South Hill. Tonight, people living near that site are glad to hear about this new development for their community. And our Peter Choi is live with the very latest. Peter. Yeah, guys, I spoke to local businesses today who tell me this new fitness center will bring more people to the community. And tonight, they're glad to get their questions answered after nearly six years. You know, just having an empty building doesn't do anybody any good. And give some employment, it will be good for the neighborhood. Sitting empty for years since 2017, a site of the old Arborson building is getting a new tenant. I'm excited to announce that uh, Move Fitness has signed a lease to occupy the former Albertsons at 13th and Grand. Managing broker Chris Bell says his client has been searching for the right fit for years. My client was committed to finding the right fit for uh, not only for the building but for the community and uh, they value relationships and they value long-term uh, tenancies. So Local mechanic shop owner welcomes this news. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, that, that having that empty building like that for all this time, it's time something uh, that would, should be good for the neighborhood. Because he has been dealing with stress over several rumors of new possible tenants. The external space of the building has been major headache for years. A lot of graffiti on the walls over there and things like that. It, I, that should put an end to that. You know, I've actually I went over there myself and actually pa painted it to get rid of it. The Comstock Neighborhood Council says unmanaged landscaping like trees, bushes and alley have been common complained by residents and a new tenant would help clean things up. Plus, bringing a big fitness center means possibly more customers to restaurants. Put some more eyes on the building where people that otherwise wouldn't be driving through this part of town. Um, you know, a couple hundred members over there every day going to and from. It might help us out. The broker says the new tenant is finalizing plans for moving right now, such as budgeting for improvements. And there's no word yet when this fitness center will open. And but based on the similar projects in the past, he says uh, it will likely will be opening in late summer or early fall is likely. Live in studio, live in Spokane tonight. Peter Choi, Fortnite now.